Good morning, I am Margaret Newmali, author of the Another Dimension series, Where's Goli, The Ultimate Amalgam, Tales of Captain Nutra and Their Perfection, and also Other Dimensions into Light. And also, I, I am here to do our, our podcast on the Another Dimension series, uh, the first chapter and the, pre, the prelude and the, uh, the first chapter and at the ultimate amalgam okay and uh, this is the story of four children four teens who are born of cartoons and ryan zach noah and alan they they love superheroes comics martial arts and uh, space and so every time they're just talking about it and they spend all their time and money on these things and so they used to stay on the roof of of uh, Alan's house to to look to watch space and to and to aspire and to dream and to believe in the fulfillment of their dreams and so in this uh, city there is a um, there is a space station and there is this uh, great uh, shuttle that has to launch to space and the children, since uh, Alan's father also works in the astronomy base, they they do they they manage to get into the space uh, shuttle before countdown, and they stay there for for the the the, the day before the launch, and so on the on the on uh, at the zero hour, the the spaceship launches to to space. And so they're happy that uh, they are in space, and that is one of their the biggest dream to be in um, in in space. And so as they they stay there, but uh, there is our um, there is the compartment in which they are found is severed from the main vessel, and it cuts up from the main vessel and drifts alone into outer space. The children, first of all, panic at the thing that uh, all is lost, but um, they are also full of uh, faith. There is Hal Ryan, who is a believer, and he believes in the supernatural. And so um, they, they believe in Agape, that he will uh, help them. And so there is also this, this another meteor. There's a meteor that comes and shatters the, the compartment in which they are found, and it, it breaks open, and they are they are um, ousted into outer space. And so, but they manage to get their hands together, and in their spacesuits, they are happy that they are floating in space. And this is uh, also one of their biggest dreams. But uh, there is a light that shines upon them, and they fall into a coma, and they, and when they awake, um, they see that there is a water. Uh, someone has someone splashes water um, on their faces, and so they wake up, and they they do not uh, uh, <laughs> they do not believe their eyes that it is Denver, the last dinosaur. And so Denver was playing with his um, his friends, Shades, Jeremy, Wally, and um, and uh, okay, Mario. And so uh, Denver, they lost they lost their ball. Denver came uh, looking for it, and he found these four children, teenagers, uplings who were lying unconscious in the field, and he tried to wake them up, but uh, to no success. He carries water in the nearby stream and splashes on them and they wake up and they find Denver the last dinosaur and they can't believe that it, it is familiar to them it is like uh, yeah the place the places that they used to see on in cartoons but uh, they are they are found in that world and they can't believe their eyes they, Noah is very excited about this she believes that this is real that they are not dreaming and so she comes nearby she she loves denver she she greets him and denver carries her in his arms and uh, kisses her and uh, she's happy and the children are wow we are we have crossed over into another dimension this is the the world of the cartoons and they're happy denver also is excited he wants to take them to his friends 
and so when they get there there is the meat shades wally uh jeremy and mario uh, this is already the second chapter and uh, meeting denver and friends and so they're they're the 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 four children the four neutrons because now they're in the city of neutra that was the art gate of their city but they have to get they have they have to get to the city which is has a guard and the first four neutrons are skeptical say how are we going to get them to the city uh, because there is a guard there's a superhero that guards the city and they, they suffered a setback uh, recently and the superheroes won't take any chances to let in strangers but um, but the, the the earthlings convince them that uh, they don't know how to get back to earth and so they ask them that they should get into the city and they they help them to get back home and jeremy uh, accepts their request and says that there are there are um, uh, uh, physicians and um, and engineers in their world who have studied space and teleportation they can help them get back uh, to the city to to earth and so they uh, they don't know how now they wanted to in order to get into the city they have to disguise themselves as uh, they have to disguise as some as some neutra neutron uh, football players and so um, Jeremy disguises them as uh, Papan, Cesare, Jan, and Benjamin who are uh, players of the neutral wings uh, football team. These also were out of the city in the fields. They were out for their training and so if they are so the guard would not know that the, the earthlings are aliens but uh, so they, they march getting closer to the city and when they get closer okay this is chapter two already um okay terrestrials in neutral earthlings in neutral and when they march to the city they, they spot batman from afar and so the earthlings are excited wow this is batman he's very imperial even more imperial than they had known him uh, uh through the cartoons and so they are so excited no one is excited and the earthlings uh, the neutrons tell them not to be so excited batman will uncover them as intruders and so uh they are and so they uh, they they draw near to the city and batman waves at them batman was standing on the city gates and there are some birds that were perching on his shoulder and then he lifted his hand greeted them from afar and when they draw near they didn't say anything but uh batman was uh, suspicious uh he asked why is it that the friends of denver are, are moving along with the the friends of uh of benjamin benjamin and his companions those two were not known to be our uh, friends but uh, since the neutral wings football team was in the finals of the championship and so they are in the west side of the city and so they are they, they, they jeremy denver and his friends and uh, mario they say that uh, they have taken a liking to football lately and denver uh plays with the ball and uh, they all laugh and and also Bat batman also wonders why uh, papan is quiet because papan is known to be very talkative but um and so uh but uh papa says that oh is it is alan no it's not alan it is ryan that is this guy's as papa and he says that he knows how to keep quiet uh when he should and also cesare also is that that is this guy says cesare and and batman wonders why cesare is friendly because cesare is always hard tempered um, but uh cesare says nothing and he instead rebukes our, 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 uh, the others when they were uh, Mario who wants to play a trick on Cesare on him. And so when they get into the city, they are happy that uh, they had uh, outwitted Batman. Wow, that is a, that's a great feat to outwit the smart, the brainiac Batman and get into the city. And so they're happy. They wow, neutral is just like those places that they used to 
to see on TV, the cartoon, everything is just beautiful. There is no corruption in the city. It's just beautiful. And but uh, as they are the move along in, in the, um, further into the city, they bump into our uh, Hakai and his daughter Rain. Rain is a fan of football, and he's a she's a fan of the of the the neutral wings uh, football team and she's uh, excited seeing Benjamin and she wants an autograph from, from him and it is uh, Noah that is disguised as Benjamin and Noah doesn't know what to do and she doesn't even know anything about football and when Rain plays with the ball she panics uh, but um, they get along uh, because uh, Rain also suspects that uh, his voice no, uh, Benjamin's voice is not the same and he doesn't know how to play football. She reports uh, him to to Hawkeye but Hawkeye says that uh, it's a child's whim. She, he doesn't take it uh, uh, seriously and he he says that Benjamin is tired and he's preparing for for the finals. And so they also are all with Hawkeye and his daughter Rain and they get into the city and when but uh, they face trouble when they meet the real Cesare and Yan. These two had not been when they had not been with their friends. They were not with the friends uh, um, in the training. And so they were walking in the city, Cesare and Yan, and now they fell into their clones. Uh, uh, that is, uh, Zach is disguised as Cesare and uh, Alan is disguised as Yan. And so Cesare and Yan get furious uh, and um, they're, 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 they want to fight uh, the impostors. But uh, Mario and his friends are uh, they try to make them understand that uh, are, uh, they mean no harm. But Cesare and Yan are some hard tempered people and they will not accept any explanation. And they even uh, threaten to to disclose to the fair, the parents of of, of Wally that uh, they are still keeping Denver in their home. And so they're they are they, they have to fight and when Yan comes to 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 Alan to fight him. Alan says he doesn't know how to fight, but he leaves his place to his champion, who is uh, Ryan. And so Ryan, who is disguised as Fappen, and so uh, they have to. They, they, there's this stage that they have to fight, and 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 Benjamin, I mean, or Noah, who is this guy? As Benjamin said, that uh, are, she doesn't want that they should hurt uh, uh, he, her friends. Uh, uh, her f favorite uh, football heroes because she knows that uh, Zach and Ryan are also martial artists they have been training on earth but she knows that Cesare and Yana are only football players but uh, uh, Jeremy and his friends Mario and Shades and Wally they, they tell her that uh, uh, Cesare and Yan are very strong. They are not only football players. They are they are as strong as superheroes themselves, and they are and they are even um, as strong as Saiyajin. Uh, and then while uh, and Noah and the, the rest, they wonder that wow, they are Saiyajin in this uh, place. And so uh, that is the end of the second chapter, and we'll continue with the beginning of the third chapter mm, uh, okay there is clashes in the streets thank you for watching and blessed with all blessing in christ all things have become new bye bye